we're looking at it and approaching the game as if it's the be-all and the end-all. And that this is Wilfrid Laurier. As they count the hours until opening night, there's still a ton of uncertainty surrounding Greg Marshall's boys. Due to the injury to star Nathan Riva, the team that hits the field for week one is not the one the coach expected to field a week ago. We're pretty good on defense. So the one thing about our defense is that, you know, we return some very good players. You know, we're good enough and deep enough at running back that we can overcome not having Nathan play this game on Wednesday and that, uh, you know, we can, uh, you know, we're good at receiver. We can, you know, mix it up and throw the ball a little bit too. While they are still trying to shake off the rust, the Stangs did get some game action in, albeit preseason. Friday in Saskatoon against the Huskies, the result? A 40 to 12 loss, but the score was not indicative of the play. We had an agreement that we would kind of play our starters in the first quarter, and maybe uh, the, you know, second string in the second, and then the third, the younger kids in the third quarter. You know what? They they scored some points in the fourth quarter. That's okay. You know, it was tied after third you know, three quarters, and I thought our guys played very very well. Now the true test: a Laurier team, which is expected to be one of the best in the province. They picked up some players from Waterloo, which makes them a combination of two teams into one. As for the Stangs, Coach Marshall explains why fans should be excited about his club. You know, we recruit across the country. We've got players on our team from Vancouver. We've got players on our team from Halifax. But the best players on our team come from the London and London area. We've got exciting football in London. Uh, we're going to do different things on offense, and I think we're, we'll have a defense this year that will swarm to the football. That D may need to be relentless if this team hopes to get back to the Yates Cup for a fourth straight season. Brent Lale, A News.